Uh, back again. Um, you've probably seen this before in one of my videos, um, but this isn't about this particular gun. I just want to do a quick video. Um, that's something that's always interested me a little bit. Uh, department store guns, or store guns, store brands. Um, this is one of them. This is a Mossberg uh, 20 gauge shotgun bolt to action, uh, but it's actual, actually marked Westonfield um, when I got it. Although it does have a Mossberg, bo uh, Mossberg uh, barrel on it now because I had to replace the barrel. But this receiver is a Westonfield receiver. And Westonfield uh, was basically a store brand that sold Mossberg shotgun. They also sold other guns too, but they sold a lot of Mossberg shotguns. Uh, this one right here, uh, Westonfield M550. Uh, but by any other name, a Mossberg 500. Uh, same gun, same thing, no difference, just the name. Uh, and there's quite a lot of them. Uh, like I said, like this here is just like that. This is the same thing as if you bought this as, as a Mossberg, as if you bought it as a Westonfield. They're the same gun. Uh, I had a Sears, which I, I said a friend has it now, but I had a, I had a Sears 200, um, which was actually a Winchester 1200 shotgun. Same thing. Uh, no difference. Just Mark Sears. Um, Sears also sold uh, rifles. I think I don't know what the model was. I don't know if it was called 94. It might have been called a Sears 94. Maybe it wasn't. Um, it probably had another number, but it was it was a Winchester 94, and they sold a lot of 3030s like that, or other maybe a few other calibers um, that were marked Sears, but they were Winchester uh, lever actions. Um, there's like quite a few other brands too. Uh, Coast to Coast was one of them. Uh, they used uh, J C Higgins. Uh, a lot of these guns, you know, and this goes back, I think. It's not unusual because I mean, even back as far back as like the 20s and the 30s, what would happen is um, companies would go out of business, you know, firearm manufacturers. And uh, I mean, I read about some of this, and uh, they would get bought up by another company, and the other company would still start selling like guns. And sometimes they would rebrand them. And by the 1950s, uh, department stores had become had become extremely popular. Um, it was just before the uh, you know the era of the mall, and uh, they started, you know, s selling a lot of these firearms, you know, with their own brands. I mean, this was in department stores, even gas stations. A lot of times you would see, uh, I mean, even when I was a kid, you could walk into a gas station and uh, there would be a, a whole array of firearms you could buy. Um, this was back, you know, even as, as late as the, as the 1980s. You know, I'm not that old, you know. <laughs> um, well, I would say the early 80s, you used to see these uh, gas stations with uh, different firearms. So when you went to department stores like uh, Montgomery Ward, Sears, um, they had firearms. And they were branded, you know, with uh, brands like Weston Field or Sears used their own name. Uh, but essentially, they, were, they didn't make guns. You know, none of these department stores made their own guns. And they didn't specify how to make these guns or anything. For them, that wasn't the case. All they did was get contracts with the gun manufacturers to put their name on the manufacturer's guns. So you could go buy a Winchester 94 that said Sears, or you could buy a Winchester 1200 that said Sears, or you could buy a Mossberg um, 375K or 385K that said, you know, um, Western Field. Or you could buy, a, you know, a, a Mossberg 500 that said, uh, Westerfield M550. Um, this was one of the later ones, this right here, because that bolt action is from the si early 60s. Um, this here, though, is from the 70s. Uh, I believe the, probably the mid to late 70s, and probably late 70s. And uh, they were still doing that. Like I said, same thing, just like you know, selling the, you know, firearms at gas stations, department stores were still selling these guys up until the 1980s. Um, somewhere around the early 90s, this uh, the almost every department store, um, at least on the East Coast, stopped doing this. Uh, and 
same thing with gas stations. It just evaporated. Um, by the late 80s, I knew, there was no more gas stations. Early 90s, that were selling firearms. Uh, if you walked in Sears or Mark Everett, there was no more firearms. You know, so all this came to an end. You know, about 30 years ago, 25, 30 years ago. But back in the day, like I said, from the 50s to the 80s, there was a lot of these guns that were made. And like I said, uh, all up, all in this video, all my intention is to point out that the now, there is no such thing as a Western Field or a Sears gun. They didn't make guns. That they're all name brand manufactured guns. They're Mossbergs and Winchesters, you know. Maybe they bring, I don't know, if, I'm not sure if they made Remingtons. But I imagine they did. Or, and other brands, you know, you know, gun manufacturers that put their names on them just like uh, they did with the Winchesters and the Mossbergs, you know. So if you see these firearms, you know, and like I said, this is not... As far as like as far as value, people tend to devalue them. Um, uh, CS two hundred is worth several hundred dollars less than Winchester, just because people want the name. But the way I look at it, I could see that if you're getting into a you know a, an expensive Colt revolver that's going to sell for you know twenty thousand dollars or you know something or an old Winchester uh, seventy three you know it's going to sell for seven thousand dollars or something like that. But if you're talking uh, you know utility guns practical guns to use who cares you know that's why I have several of these guns because you know for you know 150 to 300 dollars or what who cares uh, so you know like, so I just you know figured I'd uh, point out that they really are the same guns I mean they're good guns they're all main brand guns I um, mean you would just check them out to see if they work just like any other gun and you know they're in good shape but essentially you're getting a cheap Winchester or a cheap Mossberg you know at a discount you know, if you're going to use it and you don't really care about, you know, you know, uh, you know, whether, it, you know, about the brand on the gun, you know, but just how it shoots, then, you know, that's why I like this. Um, you know, these bolt actions are some of the straightest shooting shotguns you're ever going to buy. And so I said, I, I paid next to nothing for this. So, you know, I even, I got this so cheap I could even, I, could, I was able to even afford to buy a brand new Mossberg barrel for it. You know, uh, granted, I got it cheap off of eBay. I think I only paid about 40 bucks for the barrel. And in total, I have less than, even with the, uh, even with the uh, extras like this, I could say I have less than $150 in this firearm. And it, it will shoot straight to 100, almost 100 yards. You know, I've knocked squirrels out of trees, you know, with this from pff, at least 75, 80 yards easily. So, you know, it's it's a good gun. Excuse me. Yes. Where is I'm busy. I'll, I'll call you right back. All right. So, you know, like I said, all I want to say is that uh, some of these guns are just as good as the uh, the ones that, that are Mark Winchester or Bosberg. There's no difference. So, uh, but there are a lot of them still out there. So if you see them, you know, you might want to buy one for, say, you know, a few hundred dollars and uh, save yourself the expense. Like I said, buy a, a CS200 for $250 instead of paying that extra $200 because it says Winchester. When you're, in essence, getting a Winchester. And uh, those Winchester 1200s are really good shotguns. The only reason I, you know, uh, that I, uh, a friend of mine has it now was because uh, I had too many and uh, he really liked it. So, I mean, well, may I come across another one, so. But that's about it. Just do a short video. Thanks.